Perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. Miyamoto Musashi. I keep quoting Mr. Musashi, the greatest swordsman who's probably ever lived, never lost a duel. He thought deeply about expertise and greatness. Perceiving that which cannot be seen with the eye is very important. That's what you get from practice. And Miyamoto Musashi was very dedicated to daily practice. That's what we ask you to do with us. 10 to 15 minutes a day, every single day. Want you to be with us. Want you to learn to perceive those things that cannot be seen with the eye. That's what you get by filling out your daily market worksheet, once a week your weekly market worksheet, your trade worksheets when you do practice trades. You will learn those things. You will be able to perceive those things which the standard eye does not catch. That is from your day in, day out practice. And it's only 10 to 15 minutes, but guess how many people do it? Almost none. People will start. They might keep it up for a week, two weeks, a month, but then they fade away. If you want to master this, 10 to 15 minutes a day, I do it. I do it every single day, day in and day out. And I thank you because making sure I put this program out and prepare for it every day is what helps me do it. People ask me, why do I do this? Because I benefit more than any of you guys, any of you. It is a bigger blessing to me than it could ever be to you. That is true. Okay, let's jump into these charts. Fed meeting took place. Remember, did you read the press report? Stock market's going to surge after after the Fed. Gold's going to go up. Bonds are going to go up. Well, what do we see happening? (laughs) We see gold going down, stocks going down, bonds going up. Isn't that curious? Again, Did you listen to the news and try to trade on it? If you did, you probably got screwed. That's why we don't pay attention to the news. We pay attention to what's going on in the charts. Now, let's look at how the week is shaping up. At the close of the day on Tuesday, the last day of July, as we go into, I'm sorry, did I say say Tuesday? As we go into Thursday, the 1st of August, let's talk about what we see going on in these markets. Well, we see now we have a red spinning top, means indecision tending down on the Heiken Ashi candlesticks on the S&P 500 weekly chart. And my friends, guess what I have done for you? Uh, People have been asking those TC2000 folks, if you are using TC2000 or you're thinking about it, I have You'll see in the show notes, for all of you who subscribe, you'll also see it in the show notes. I'll put it in there today in the show notes also for the folks who are subscribers at our YouTube channel and also everybody who gets the daily review, weekly market review, all that. You get our email. It'll be in those notes too. You'll see a link to the stock chart that you watch every day in our broadcast. That is going to be there for you. It is a link to our layout. I know that when they switched over at TC2000, dropped some of the Mac stuff and did the other things, now they have a web-based version. It will work there. So it is available for you. Very excited about that. Also, our Patreon members, our Bitcoin chart. We have that now available also for TC2000. I'll email that out to you in our next email. Also want to ask you to please make sure that you pay attention and watch the special training that we did for everyone yesterday. There is a link in the show notes to that. It is the magic of the weekly vertical crossover profit potential through July 2019. I recorded it yesterday, so I did not capture what's going on right now. Uh, I did it on the 30th, but I want you to take a look at that. You will find that very, very motivating, and you'll see the magic of the weekly vertical crossover. So let's jump in again to the market. I've already talked about the red spinning top. The price percent oscillator is heading down now. The derivative oscillator has lost a significant, losing a significant amount of energy. Um, and so we see weakness there. We were seeing some weakness, <clears throat> seeing more weakness. Guess what happened immediately? This is just the first day of the latest two-day candle. 
<clears throat> but a crossover going down. How long will this go? I don't know. If we see a weekly vertical crossover occur, then of course I'm going to be ready for down movement, particularly based upon how accurate these, can, these crossovers have been for this entire year. So those of you, again, you know, the, the markets have been going up throughout the course of the year. They may continue to go up. And of course, the dollar cost averaging people ringing the bell, look at what a great job we've done just staying in. That may work for you for a while, but when we have systemic market crashes as we've been talking about, maybe that's gonna occur, maybe it's not, maybe this is just a blip, but again, just be ready, my friends. Be liquid, be ready. So we have a crossover. We can't call it yet because just the first day of the latest two-day candle, but pretty strong. But you can see where things really hammered down and recovered. So we'll see just how long-term that down move will be. We can see the morning was just ticking along. Green spinning top means indecision tending up. We had already had the crossover, though, hadn't we, on that four-hour chart? Then things just blew the bottom out and actually rammed all the way down to the weekly trend line in the afternoon. Big down candle. Again, we'll watch, see how things play out. What's going on on the queues? <clears throat> Same kind of thing. Almost a doji red spinning top. Price percent oscillator heading down, not crossed over. The um, derivative oscillator also losing energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. We go to the two-day chart. Same kind of thing. We had a red spinning top, meaning indecision tending down. What did the market know? And then all of a sudden you saw things blow through. First day of this latest two-day candle blow through the uh, two-day trend line and pushing. Well, we, we see it there, right? Laying on the bottom of that candle, laying on the weekly trend line and the price percent oscillator negative, derivative oscillator negative. <clears throat> Go to the four-hour chart. Okay, in the morning, hammering down in the afternoon, had already crossed over. Going down on that four-hour chart, back around lunchtime, well, yes, in the morning on Tuesday. So that's where we are in stocks. <clears throat> Don't have any trade right now, waiting to see how things shake out. What's going on on bonds? Well, remember we have that we had that weekly vertical crossover, but didn't have an entry point on our four hour chart. And now we see things, unlike all the other charts, bonds bounding up as dumping out of stocks has occurred, even with, well, with interest rates going down. We see the price percent oscillator about laminated on the red signal line, derivative oscillator still negative. We have a green up candle that's forming so far. We go from the weekly to the two day, and of course two day still negative, but the derivative oscillator is losing downward momentum. Price percent oscillator is about flat. First day of this latest two day candle is an up candle. Previous candle representing Monday and Tuesday was an up candle too. This is a bigger one that is forming. Again, first day of the latest. We don't call it until it actually happens. What's up on the four hour chart? We saw things sliding sideways, tending up, and then of course bounding up in the morning, and then even more in the afternoon on bonds. So we'll continue to watch, see what we see. As we talked about, when we looked at the weekly chart back in time, where did we have, we, we talked about this already back in May of 2018, where we had things cross over and just fake us out and pop back up again. Is that what could be underway? Might be. We'll wait and see what there is to see. That's the only time in a while that we have seen that happen. Again, that was over a year ago. The rest of the time, bonds going up, going down, going up. So we'll continue to watch, see what there is to see. We'll let these charts lead us. We go uh, now from bonds, to gold. We look at the weekly chart on gold. What is gold doing? Is gold topping out? <clears throat> well, we have two red open box candles. Uh, so far, again, this week we have a little bitty candle with a long wick on the top uh, and a little wick on the bottom. Price percent oscillator is a little less than flat, heading down some. Uh, 
and but again not not hammering down derivative oscillator losing upward momentum go from the weekly to the two day we take a look at that two day remember it crossed over going down if you recall back on Wednesday the 24th on that two-day candle. It's been sliding sideways for a while. First day of this latest two-day candle went from a green spinning top to almost a red doji. Indecision tending down. Derivative oscillator gained downward momentum, as did the price percent oscillator clicking over, heading further down. So we'll continue to keep our eye on things, see how gold sorts out. That four-hour chart, which was crossing over going up, dropped back over on us. So again, didn't have a trade in gold because that two day was already down. So we'll see how gold sorts out. Remember, this is just the afternoon after a Fed meeting. We'll let all the news shake out and we'll let the charts lead us where they may. It's still the sucky summertime trading zone. Don't give up. Summertime always stinks. Not the kind of volume you have in the fall winter trading zone. We are living and waiting for that. That's where the adage comes, you know, sell in May, go away, live to trade another day. Well, we're going to practice all through all of it. Learn all there is to learn. Remember, those daily market, work it, daily market worksheets, weekly market worksheets, and trade worksheets, all available for free in the show notes. Whether you're listening to us on a podcast, you'll see those in the show notes there. You'll see them in the show notes at our YouTube channel. I ask you to subscribe to, like uh, all of our, all the things that we put out, make comments. We love your comments. And again, if you want all the latest information, email directly to you with the special trainings we put out every day. You only get those if you're a subscriber to chartingwealth.com. How do you do that? You go to chartingwealth.com, sign up for free, put in your name, email address. We'd never spam that list. My friends, if you haven't purchased our book yet, please do so, Charting Your Way to Wealth. It is a speed course in understanding what it is we do here. This is not a get-rich-quick program. This, however, I hope will be a get-rich program for you. But we don't tell you how long it will take, but guess what? When you commit yourself to become a charting master, you've just done it. You've just done it, and that's what you're going to do no matter how long it may take or no matter how quickly you may master it. But again, what's so fun about this is you just enjoy it day after day, the challenge. Every single day, I love watching these markets. It's one of the most fascinating things that I do, and I get to do it on a daily basis, and you should too. It will be worth the time you invest, worth its time in gold. I sure hope, and you just have to stick with it. Again, look for the book. You can see how to purchase it in the show notes. You want to be a Patreon supporter and get all the special training. We have it there for you, our special Bitcoin training with our Bitcoin chart, which is different than the charts that we use here on a daily basis. You also get the short chart training and the quarterly chart training for long-term investing, learning how to do that. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team here at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.